All right, postponement. So well, this is uh, postponement, and this is how um, some of you guys, so this is the energy in the um, position of feelings. It looks like there's some kind of delay, possibly, postponement, some kind of delay. So there's kind of, this is, this, also, this card is talking about a postponement, and so you guys might be thinking about why is it taking so long? Why is it taking so long? For me to have the fulfillment, the vibrancy, the happiness, the passion, the love back into my life. It's like you know it's coming, you've been working on it, and nothing's manifested. You're wondering why. You know, why have you been feeling so down or why have you been feeling gloom gloomy or why is everything around you just feel so mundane and so um Void of passion and vibrancy and color. So it, it looks like there's some kind of postponement, whether it is in regards to um, some kind of uh, happiness that you're waiting upon that's really going to change your life and make you feel a lot more alive. There is some kind of postponement possibly. You guys might be feeling that lack of, um, of excitement or passion going on in your life. And it could be because, you know, maybe we, you know, we are in retrograde. So Maybe that has something to do with what it is that you're waiting on. It's just not happening right now or the happiness is not coming uh, your way yet. Going with the flow. Going with the flow. You guys are going to be doing things this month and going with the flow. Um, I just did the reading for... Um, my gosh, what it was, it's uh, Taurus. And Taurus got this exact card in the same position. So if you guys are dealing with a Taurus or um, you have Taurus in your sign, you might wanna watch, uh, you might wanna watch that video. But yeah, uh, going with the flow. So you guys are gonna be feeling like, I don't have a choice or I just, or it could be either way. You don't have a choice right now and you need to go with the flow. You need to just be patient and you just need to go with the current here and just kind of like lay there. This person's just allowing the current to transform or to take them where they need to go. So it's, you guys are gonna be having to um, go with the flow at this point because maybe you just don't have the um, happiness or the passion in your life at this moment. Um, therefore, maybe you're being forced to just kind of go with the flow. So go with the flow this month, okay, you guys? Um, the next card we have is moment to moment. So I'm going to take back what I said as far as going with the flow. It's, it's not that you're being forced or you have to. You guys want to. It looks like you really want to go with the flow. You want to be a part of just like setting yourself free and allowing things to happen as they, as they go. And you're really enjoying it because we have the moment to moment card here. And this is in, the, in, in how, you're, how you may be feeling this month. And you guys may be feeling this beautiful, amazing ability to be really happy right here and right now and fulfilled in yourself, in your surroundings, and being able to just kind of focus uh, on each second and each moment right now. Um, it's, it's very similar with going with the flow. You know, it's kind of like whether you're forced to do this this month or it's something that you just really want to do and you're enjoying it, you guys are going to be doing this, um, going with the flow and uh, paying more attention to this very, very moment opposed to, you know, a lot of you guys are not feeling the best right now. You're waiting for something to come forward in your life. There's a post moment with, when it comes to feelings or having to do something you're waiting for, right? Um so you are going to be, uh, instead of dwelling on that, it looks like you guys are going to be able to, something's going to make you focus on right here and right now. And that's going to bring you actually fulfillment. Uh, it might bring you the fulfillment and uh, bring you to out of being postponed. It may just, reality, it may just happen for you. Oh, wow, it is going to happen for you. So while you're waiting for this postponement, whatever's being postponed, in the process of this month, as it unfolds, you're going to be distracted from, uh, you know, 
focusing on being upset over postponing something and it's actually going to come your way. It's just going to naturally unfold for you this month. So maybe you expected something to happen or you were waiting for something to happen and um, a certain way maybe you were waiting for it to happen. Um, maybe in a logical way or um, in a way that you had in your mind. And it looks like because you it's not happening, you're going to be focused instead of on that. You're going to be focused on what's here right in front of you. And you're getting the totality card, which is you're going to be, um, there's going to be a lot of synchronicities of like as far as sync, things are going to sync together. People, places, and things. You're going to be able to, uh, things are going to flow easily. This is going with the flow. And this is um, allowing others and to rely on each other. You rely on them. They rely on you. But it's not just that. It's an equal give and take. It's an equal rely upon each other. It's almost like um, you're going to need each other. Therefore, you're going to respect each other. Therefore, you're going to give each other equal care and respect in something. And it's going to be very harmonious. Wow. You guys, I don't know what you're waiting for, but it's going to unfold for you. So let's get into the main energy of your reading. We have the five of wands. So the main energy uh, for August for Gemini is the five of wands. So this is a very, um, this is a card of conflict within yourself, Gemini, um, or people around you, or you involved with others, where there's conflict around them. But for some reason, you're somewhat involved as well. But this is like a very, a, an energy that may be coming in, in this month. But I do see that it's going to work out, uh, whatever this conflict is. Um, I do believe that it is going to unfold in a very surprising way as far as, as if you just go with the flow and not get involved with these conflicts or let these other, if there's other people involved, taunting you, you know, competing with you, causing you to become a little bit aggressive. Um, don't fall into that. Just kind of go with the flow with whatever these conflicts are with either with whether they're just in within yourself or a group of people, uh, go with the flow instead of creating or being part of the, the, any kind of conflict. Because when you do that, you guys, somehow it's all going to fall together. This conflict, this, uh, group of things unable to come together or, you know, take effect turns into harmony, everybody getting along, everybody helping each other, everybody relying on each other in a very positive way. As long as you guys go with the flow and don't allow this conflict or this energy to bog you down, you have an opportunity to really allow yourself to go with the flow in a very strong, emotional, personal way. And that's going to help you uh, and others might follow you as a leader and things might come together because you're doing it. You're being, you're able to go with the flow. You're able to um, rise above conflict and not let it get to you or let to, this competition get to you. If you become strong within yourself and allow it to uh, unfold, it's going to unfold for you guys really well. The next card we have is, wow, see, four of Four of Wands. This is in the position of what's crossing you. So it could be a challenge or obstacle this month, but I don't see that. As long as you guys don't let this um, energy, like I say, don't let this energy um, affect you and um, be the leader and let things go and uh, you're going to have stability. There is some kind of stability here for you. This could be a very... This could be moving. You could be moving. You guys might be having conflicts about how to move boxes or where you're going to move or something like that. Um, or, you know, you want to pack this way and, you know, people don't pack, pack the boxes right. I don't know. Whatever this conflict is, 
whether it be very m m uh, mundane, like packing bags or, um, not, you know, not getting along as far as that's concerned to something very, a lot more um, deeper as far as maybe moving to a new location, not knowing what location to move in or, you know, things are not, you know, going in your favor as far as the move. Okay, the things, things may not be going in harmony. But I am telling you, maybe the trip's been postponed or the, the new move is being postponed or it's not happening fast enough. That's why you guys need to go with the flow and start right now living in the moment to moment, okay? Don't concentrate on, on, on the past or the future. Just kind of, um, <laughs> things are going to work out. Things are going to be, there's some kind of totality here where everything's going to be in harmony with each other. And it, it, it's maybe it's just timing again. We're in retrograde. So anyway, there's this beautiful uh, move that you guys are doing. It looks like a, a home move or a, a, a relocation of some sort. Um, there's a, this also could be some kind of celebration, a party planning of a, 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 a relationship or um, a happiness, a, a pure happiness. Maybe you've been waiting for this happiness for a long time, this stability, this move. Uh, this relationship, it's coming together, you guys. Um, again, as long as you guys go with the flow um, and avoid this conflict as far as stepping back and allowing things to um, happen. In the recent past, we have the King of Pentacles, and this could be an Earth sign, a Virgo, Capricorn, or um, Taurus. And this is somebody in power. This is somebody like... Uh, in authority, this could be a work, a boss, it could be a family member, it could be a father figure, it could be um, a father-in-law, a relative, but it is somebody who is very financially stable, they're very strong, this could be somebody you're dating, it could be, um, it, it could have to do with finances, this could be a job offer, maybe you're moving for a job. But in the recent past, this person's been here and this person has helped you um, in one way or another. And the next card we have is the Queen of Swords in reverse. This is somebody, if male or female, this could be an air sign, um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And this is somebody who is a little bit, uh, you know, Gemini, I mean... You are an air sign. Um, this could be you. You could be feeling a little bit uh, focused right now on one thing and determined to get what you want right this moment. But it's saying, because things are being postponed, that you need to go with the flow. If that's you, if this is you, go with the flow. Because sometimes we can't control things, guys. You know, Gemini, you guys are so wonderfully... Um, logical in your mind and you really can control your emotions so much that you can really see things in a very logical and clear way and you guys have such a gift with that but it's telling you to go with more of a water energy go more with the flow opposed to the logic so if this is the Gemini's that this is, okay, where you're so, this is somebody who's very, very, very focused, right? And they're so focused that they are not seeing sometimes the bigger picture. Um, not that you need to see a bigger picture. You know, maybe you're just laser focused on what it is you want. There's nothing wrong with that. But um, in this reading, it's saying it could cause a little bit of conflict with others because maybe you're not, you're overly focused on um, the truth or what it is that you want that you're, that maybe there's other people involved, right? These other people, wrong or right, are involved. So it's important to kind of sometimes allow the other people to have their say, even though it's conf conflicting or postponing things. Sometimes it's necessary, unfortunately, and you are being asked to go with the flow. And once you do that, like I said, it's going to, everyone's going to start working together and things are just going to start, um, finally start taking effect now opposed to later. So, um, 
you know, this is a great energy and um, it's going to really get you far. But in this reading, it's just telling you to not overly um, be so focused on something that you're forgetting some details or some things around you. Because sometimes when other people are involved, we always can't, we can't make them, okay, Gemini, you can't make some, we can't make other people be as intelligent and logical as you. Other people sometimes can't be that amazingly um, logical and clear headed like you guys can. So um, maybe it's just saying to let other people do things the wrong way, even if it's wrong. Um, not necessarily wrong, but I'm just saying uh, allow for some um, hiccups, but those things are going to turn out in your favor. Um, what's in your hopes and what, well, not hopes, I'm sorry, what, what it is, Gemini, that you guys are hoping for this month, striving for? It looks like you're striving for um, some inner strength within yourself. It looks like you're 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 trying to become more balanced with your emotions and your logic and your uh, will and just all just your yourself your inner your inner being. You're trying to be. Uh, it looks like a little bit more um, strong instead of like um, being overly one way or overly another. Um, so you, there's a need for you to be strong this month. Maybe you're really being challenged. Okay. Um, so there is, this also could be a Leo. Maybe you guys are hoping for a Leo in your life to help you to be part of your journey or to be part of something. Um, and they're not there for you right now. They're not there to help you with, uh, you know, strength in your life, but, um, it is something that you guys are needing right now. It looks like or wanting you want some um, you want to be able to control your own emotions, your own mind, uh, you know, your own being. You want a lot more. It looks like you want to be um, whole. And the next card we have is the five of cups and the five of cups is right now here saying that this is something very important that you should be focusing on this month of August. Um, if this is you, Gemini. It's saying that it's time to heal, allow for healing, allow for loss, allow for sadness, and go with the flow. Don't stay in this energy too long. It's, it's, no, it's there for a reason, but it shouldn't force us to be imbalance for instance we need to be strong it's time for you to be strong whoever this is if this is you gemini um it, or this could be an energy around you this could be somebody around you right now and you're you're going to need the strength to help this person um and this maybe the, you know you're not all in your best uh you know somebody you know whoever this is because there is some kind of postponement and happiness right now um again we have the four of um four of wands in your challenge position. So this moving or this marriage, again, this could even be a marriage, you guys. Um, marriage, moving, um, celebration, um, relationship, uh, just a couple relationship. Uh, it, it, you know, somebody is hurt and they're trying to come out of a, de a depression and there's there is, there's been some kind of uh, postponement on that. So that's okay. It's just part of the process. And um, it's time for you guys to go with the flow, to step out of this energy. This is you. Um, if it's not you, um, you may need to be strong and help this person. But I see this as you, Gemini. Um, the card we have is how you see your situation is the devil card in reverse. So... You guys are um, possibly being healed right now from a very unhealthy attachment that you have had with somebody or you see that there was, you see that you may be tempted to be swayed into a negative um, way of being or an unhealthy way of being. 
Um, and therefore, you may need your strength this month to not allow yourself to go backwards into something. Um, you need to pull yourself out. And you guys have. It looks like you've pulled yourself out of a negative, unhealthy situation. And or the other person has, whether this be whether this was an addiction towards alcohol, drugs, or whether this was just a, you know, a love relationship or some kind of unhealthy codependent relationship, or it could be anything work, a work, bad work situation, whatever it was, it was just unhealthy. It was a bad and it looks like you're you've pulled yourself out of it or they have. And, um, you know, sometimes it's hard right but it, you guys have done it so that's fantastic you're seeing that you pulled yourself out or you might be tempted this month and you may need some strength to keep yourself together and balanced and it you will be if as long as you let go and release and just right now pay attention to right this minute the here and now and there's that uh serenity prayer um that uh, AA used to sing, say up uh, that says, um, you know, whether the AA, the Alcoholics Anonymous, they um, say this amazing prayer. You know, I I I'm, I don't have that addict type of an addiction, but um, I love that prayer, and I've heard it my like off and on throughout my life because it's just such a beautiful prayer, and I say that prayer sometimes. <laughs> Um, so it doesn't necessarily have to do with alcohol. It, this is just a beautiful prayer. And it says, um, look it up, you guys. It's called uh, the Alcoholics Anonymous uh, Serenity Prayer. And I don't know it by heart right this moment, um, but it's like, give me the strength to... I know you guys are saying it right now. You guys, Some of you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. You're saying that prayer in your head, and that is so good because... Um, Again, you don't have to be uh, have a drinking problem to have that prayer. It could just you can use that prayer towards uh, anything in your life, as far as become getting the strength to the courage and the strength to um, overcome something that you cannot control, something like that. But it it's telling you to um, you've allowed yourself to become to get yourself out of a bad situation. And now you're, uh, you know, healing, you're, you're feeling the loss of it, of something you've let go of. And that's okay. It's normal, right? But it's time to be strong and live in the moment. So I think the Alcoholics Anonymous is like, it says, it talks about um, being present and facing reality in each moment, in each second, uh, moment to moment or something like that. So I just wanted to bring that up for some of you. Um, I hope that helps. Um, the next card we have is the Six of Swords in reverse. So it looks like this is in your environment, uh, influences in your inner surrounding, surrounding you, around you, people. Uh, it looks like somebody is having a hard time around you, uh, uh, moving uh, on to a, moving on. It looks like there was a separation and um, there is definitely a loss here over at over that a disappointment, a loss, um, a sadness, and a postponement or some sort of depression. But it looks like um, somebody's having a hard time moving toward moving moving forward in their life. They're kind of like having a hard time. Um, they're kind of stuck in that negative, not negative, but they're stuck in the sadness of it and it's 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 uh postponing them from getting on with their life so whether this be you or somebody around you it appears that it is somebody around you that's acting that way um but obviously when two people split up there's or a separation or whatever this is it's it, it seems like it was very um it affected you emotionally and mentally and therefore or both of you actually, and therefore it's, you know, it's been a challenge for you. Hence, you know, this is over. It's time to move forward. It's trying to move in a new direction and you're doing that. And this other person is too, but they're, they're maybe having a harder, they're having a hard time. The next card we have is the high priestess in reverse. This is in your hopes and fears. And the high priestess is, um, in reverse, meaning she's kind of like, feeling she feels blocked she doesn't feel 
connected to this is male or female, but this is the energy. It's it's somebody that feels a little bit blocked. If they don't, you don't feel attached to your higher self. You feel kind of um, disassociated with your um, your higher self and your intuition. Therefore, you're feeling maybe a little bit disconnected and um, alone, or disconnected and unable to. Uh, get the guidance or the support emotionally that you may or may, may need. So uh, some of you guys are feeling like, um, you know, you're having a hard time with your uh, intuition and connecting, connecting to your higher self. And that makes sense because when you, you know, sometimes when we're at our lowest point or we have negativity around us, um, it is hard, you know, it is hard to sometimes connect. Um, this also could be somebody hiding you or somebody's hiding something. Maybe you're afraid that people are hiding things from you or not telling you the truth. So the next card we have is the Hierophant in reverse. So that this looks like there's some kind of decision, that some kind of um, way of being spiritually, like right or wrong. Maybe there's some kind of way, a re rebellious way, go rebellious, uh, rebellious, not rebellious, but a different way of acting, a different way of being, a different way of believing within yourself. Maybe you feel like you're doing things different, wrong or, or different, and it's making you feel like you may be doing things incorrectly or wrong because your belief, you maybe believe that things had, had to be done a certain way. And now you're like questioning things possibly. Um, this could mean that there's no commitment. Uh, if this had to do with a relationship, this could mean that there was some kind of breakup. There was some kind of divorce. There was some kind of separation. There was some kind of loss of, of commitment. And therefore, things were not really done the way that they should have been. And I do see that there was some kind of breakup here. And there was some kind of loss. And, you know, Gemini, you guys might not be feeling um, good about it. You may even be feeling scorned, you know, like bitter. Um. And that's probably why you're feeling the sadness a little bit. You're waiting for your healing. You're waiting for something to turn around. You're waiting for somebody to move away from you or this negative energy to move forward on so you can live, go on with your life, it looks like. Because this is being postponed, I guess. This move, maybe that's what it is. You guys, A lot of you guys are waiting to move out of a situation that you're stuck in. Um, or you were stuck in, and you're making the plans to move out and away from somebody or something. So go with the flow this month, live in the moment, okay, and you will get the help you need. Okay, you guys, you will get the help you need. And the last card we have is a page of wands in reverse. So this is, this is a, uh, usually, this is a card of somebody, you know what, they're, they're having a hard time moving forward as far as finding that passion, you know, it's like, it's like this card, you know, it's like there's a little bit of negativity or feeling like, oh, I'm not going to, you know, I'm having, a, you're having a hard time finding the passion to move forward in something brand new. Okay, you guys, the one, the Geminis that are having a hard time um, finding their, that inspiration, that spark, that um, passion, the drive to try something new, even though it may not work out or taking a risk. You're like, don't have the energy or you're afraid because things haven't worked out in the past. So now you're like, some of you might be feeling like, I don't think anything's ever going to work out. Um, so you're not even, you're, you're, some people, somebody's having a lack of, um, inspiration and, um, a lack of passion in moving forward in something. So it's almost like they are not really wanting to do something new or try something new. So, for some of you, it's time to go with the flow, you guys. Okay, this is the advice. Whatever this is going on around you, it's time for you to go with the flow. Live right now, here and now in the moment, in this reality and in, and in this moment, and accept. Accept that as you move forward. And when you do that, you're going to get all the support from the universe, from people around you, and all the help because you're letting down your guard. You're, you know, letting down any kind of resentments, any type of um, 
negative things that have had a whole negative hold on to you. It's like you're setting yourself free by doing this. You're, you're setting the chains free. You're setting yourself free. You're trying to forgive others as you forgive yourself. And you're, you're going to just let go with the flow and trust the universe. So that's what your advice is for this month. And it's going to work out for you. Okay, Gemini. Let's pull one of these beautiful cards for you. Alana Fairchild, the Sacred Rebel Oracle Cards. What is the message for our lovely Geminis this month of August? The first card we have is Release the Dark Wound. Let love live. Aww. This is beautiful, you guys. Release the dark wound. Let love live. And it's very similar to what we're saying. You guys are going through some healing process. And it's telling you to release the dark wound. Forgive, forget, and let it go. Release it to the universe. Let it go to God. Let it go to your angels. Let it go. This is somebody, their hands are releasing a fish into the water to set it free. To set it free in that beautiful ocean, into that wild, the beautiful water so it can just be happy and live free. And that's what you guys have been waiting for. Look at this. You're you're waiting for ha this is what this that's what this card means it means somebody is in the dark see how there's a gray and black this is a frame and it's black and gray okay this is you gemini and it's dark it's just it's mundane and in the center there's this beautiful window pane and, and she's looking out or he's looking out and there's this beautiful green um luscious beautiful colorful blue sky and of happiness, joy, and freedom, right? And you're just waiting to step foot into this world, but you're trapped or stuck into this, uh, or somebody is into this kind of like a drab, what is it, drab, boring, um, mundane, or even depressed mode. And you're just, you're post, it's postponed. You're going to be walking into this beautiful color. It's, it's time for you to set it free. Sorry guys, I just keep going on with this message, but this is the card, this is card number 25. And I'm gonna read this card to you. Whoops, my camera keeps flipping. All right. Um, all right guys, this is says, if we detach something from its source too soon, trying to force it to become what it is not yet ready or willing to become, we can unintentionally snap it off. It's snap. I'm sorry. We can unintentionally sap it off its strength and kill it. There is a dark wound in the sub in the I'm sorry in the consciousness of humanity which demands perfection and denies process. If you are thinking of of publishers before you have even written the book, if you are comparing your unfinished song idea to the latest best-selling pop release, if you have decided you are not good enough or worthy enough to succeed before you've given it everything you've got and ask for divine help, then this dark wound has you in its grasp. You have to let go of the, de the death grip of perfectionism and let yourself and your ideas live. Love is abundant, creative, and inspiring. It moves us so much more joyously and creati creatively than fear. You're being asked to honor the path of your own. Love what inspires you, what feels exciting, joyful, and perhaps even rather different. Let that live. Release the dark wounding of false belief. There are countless stories of vastly successful artists who very nearly 
bend the pro I'm sorry, bend the project that was making of their career because of the despair forested by their own dark nature. You guys, this is so profound and it matches your reading 100%. It's talking about letting yourself be free and you have you have the devil in reverse you guys have set yourself free from something 